Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I got an email from a kind of concerned father who is looking to get their kids into a decent, good uh, program. So I'm gonna expand on that in a minute. Um, stay tuned. Mr. Concerned Father, John S. emailed me um, about junior programs. Unsatisfactory junior programs? Well, let me take a slug at my coffee before I, I get going here. <clears throat> All right. So, want to support my coffee habit? Buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. Link is below. All right. John S. writes, as a father of young girls who are interested in playing high school tennis, I was wondering what you would look for in a junior development program. I've noticed a lot of junior programs in my area, the DC metro area, are unsatisfactory. I put my girls through private, semi-private, and group lessons. I would characterize unsatisfactory as the following. Coaches are really not instructing or teaching. A lot of, lot of the coaches seem to be former college players who are just running drills. Worst I've seen has been coaches just letting kids play a match while being on their phones. Um, I do not pay for my girls to play king of the court for four weeks straight. Too many kids in a class per instructor, costs of these programs really do not justify what is being taught. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, I hope it's a great topic for the channel. Yeah, that is a great topic on the channel. I was actually gonna cover this, um, but thank you for the question, John. When I was growing up, I basically went to the neighborhood park as did, you know, my friend Peanut Louie. Um, I believe the Williams sisters did that. But unfortunately, you know, our pros were the people who played at the park. So essentially, as we played them and we got better, that's kind of how we learned. And that was basically, I don't want to call it school of hard knocks, but it's school of fun, you know, because we are all different levels. The good people, the good adults, you know, didn't mind playing with us kids. Um, they kind of taught us the game and taught us strategy. And that was essentially, you know, free lessons for us. Because, I mean, we couldn't pay for instruction. That was crazy. If our parents didn't know how to play, you know, pretty much nobody taught us except for television and these people on the, on the you know, public, public park playground. So, unfortunately, those days are gone. Um, with the COVID back, you know, hopefully you know those days are coming back as more people hang out at the tennis courts um if you guys live in a place where people just spend all day there like when i was growing up there was always a group of people there that just played you know those guys are great coaches because they are street smart when it comes to tennis you know the instructors are just going to teach you certain things but nothing is gonna beat street smart tennis. A, a lot of these junior programs, um, I mean, it's kinda like five to six to seven, sometimes as much as 10 kids to one instructor. Um, I mean, I call it kinda glorified daycare. You drop your kids off, um, you let them run around for two hours just to do something. You know, the parents want to just talk to the other parents and say, oh yeah, my kid does tennis. But are they really doing tennis? They're getting just taken care of, like in a daycare setting. Uh, and I've seen this in all levels, in all different places. Um, first, first off, tennis is one of those sports that are really disciplined. So obviously your kids, you want your kids to do well, um, when they go into some of these places and join these camps, um, the coaches are kind of trying to keep them engaged. 
So that is tough because you got so many kids running around. Um, you got so few courts. So it's tough to, to keep them engaged and focused, especially on a game like tennis. When I talk to some of the other coaches, um, I'm like, yeah, why is it always daycare out there? It's like, yeah, the kids don't care. Uh, you know, so I understand, you know, both perspectives. Um, so my advice to John w was, you know, find a great coach that you relate to, that your kids can relate to, and kind of find a happy medium. Do like a, you know, a private with just your kids and maybe some other kids and, you know, do it on a weekly or twice a week basis and see if you could just get some private instruction there and then graduate to like a higher level program that has better kids instead of being stuck with the daycare center. Most programs have like a higher level um, tennis program. Most of them do. And you kind of want to get there. Uh, if you want to play uh, high school level and beyond and play tournaments, uh, but they always start you into you know, the lower programs to put you with the rest of the kids so all the kids can have fun. They kind of split them up into two. It's like the kids that kind of don't want to be there, uh, don't really want to play tennis, but their parents are you know, saying, hey, you play tennis, or they just don't realize that they don't want to play tennis, but their friends are there. Uh, they put them in kind of that group. As you progress, you hopefully move up into the more serious groups of tennis. Um, so it, it kind of depends on your kid, or at least I hope it depends on your kid, but, um, and the program should graduate your kid as they progress. Like everywhere, at least around here, they have a semi-high performance to a high performance um, group. But that's usually on the down low. You don't know that it exists until you graduate there um, or you get a tryout. Guys, you have to, you know, dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper sometimes. And sometimes you have to travel because not every city is gonna have um, a semi-high performance to a high performance place. So, I mean, expect to drive maybe 20 miles to the nearest, uh, um, you know, high performance or, um, you know, bigger place that would have a high performance uh, style or clinic for your child, okay? But if you wanna stay local, stay in your city, find that great pro and see if you can get lessons with that person you know, as much as you can or as much as you want to and kind of progress from there, graduate from there. Okay, so get out of daycare and get into being the pros. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.